All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we're doing an empties video. I have a lot of empties because I've been gone for like two months on my channel. So we have like a month worth of empties. Let's get going. We'll just start. So for those of you who are new, I have like a handful of products that I'm like tried and true. I rebuy this all the time. It's pretty great. So for those products, I'll probably just be like, this is one of those products. So I like it a lot and just keep on moseying through. Yeah, the first category we're gonna go into is lotion. So yeah, I went through a lot of lotion. I will say these last couple of months, I haven't been doing a lot of makeup. I've been trying to keep up on my skincare and stuff um, and my lotion, obviously lotion's part of that, but like makeup makeup stuff. I mean, we do have some makeup empties though. Don't, don't be afraid, we do have makeup empties. But yes, okay, so lotion. I have, I think it's been two months since I've been gone, but I feel like it's been three months since I've done a makeup empties, but I could be wrong. Anyways, um, this is the Beekman Silver Bell Bouquet Goat Milk Whip Body Cream. Mom gave this to me and I like it. It's pretty good. Um, another Beekman one. This is a hand cream though. The hand creams I'm not a huge fan of because I don't really differentiate between hand and body. I just kind of put it everywhere. So this just feels like a weaker lotion to me. It's okay. All of these were gifts. All these lotions were gifts. This was a wrap present actually um, a while ago. Oh no, did I make it where I can't actually see? It's the Aesop Rind Concentrate Body Balm. It's so funny. So this is the pink grapefruit, orange rind, and lemon rind. That is the smell. It smells like a tangerine. Like it's very it's just citrus I'm just like it's just funny where I'm like sometimes sometimes they just really try hard to like be like oh it's all of this I'm like you guys it's it smells like tangerine it was a lovely tangerine but a tangerine nonetheless and then I have the Kiehl's richly hydrating hand cream lavender with shea butter and vitamin E I liked this a lot I don't think I've tried very many Kiehl's products in the past at least not like lotions really really like this it was nice and thick and lovely and um i like i like lavender i will say that we'll go um to hand soap just have the one hand soap it's a bath and body works warm vanilla sugar gentle foaming hand soap one of those that again i actually get those from my mom although i would go to bath and body works if uh, she didn't have back stock of it so yeah it's just a classic and i love it so there you go. Next we'll go into, this is actually a The Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. Went through all of this. I have more of it. I really like it. Um, helps my cleaning my brushes a lot. I have moved into the system of doing this for one, you know, round of washing and then I'll actually properly wash my blush brushes. But this is great if you need something like a quick because it dries pretty quickly. Like if you do it like, you know, do this in the morning and then you need it six hours later, you know, you'll, it's a, it's ready and available where I feel like with washing your brushes and like getting, you know, water and soap in it and everything, it will probably properly need like a 12 hour dry period. And if you don't have the 12 hour dry period or more, the cinema secrets isn't too bad. Let's go to hair. So I have Batiste, one of these that, and this is the tried and true, like it a lot. I use, um, this dry shampoo a lot mainly because I know it's not the best dry shampoo out there. I know it's not like amazing quality and all of that, but it's cheap. And that's what I like about it. It smells like the blush floral scent. I like that scent a lot. And then I have the Amica Broken Bombshell Blowout Spray. I tried this. Um, I feel like I'm kind of like, don't really know what I'm doing with my hair care products. So I have this, I, try, I have a couple other products as well that I'm trying out. I don't think I hated it. I do like this nozzle. It makes it really easy to spray onto the hair, but I also don't necessarily like blow out my hair every day, like, or blow dry it every day. Like I don't always use heat products on it. So I would repurchase it, but I don't know. I also don't remember how much it costs and I don't know if it was quote unquote worth it, but I wouldn't not repurchase it. However, I'm trying new things with my hair stuff because I just don't I just don't know all right next is a Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm I had like a pack of like five of these it took me forever this is the last of them it's great um I keep it by my bedside or slash also it would be like in my purse or something they're okay I don't know if I would get Burt's Bees again I mean, maybe if I was in a pinch but 
yeah, just okay. I have this Amore Paris 24K Gold Facial Mask, Anti-Aging, Anti-Toxin, Anti-Acne Mask. Again, another one that is okay. I think I may have another one of these <laughs> underneath. I know I got had two from my mom that she gifted me one year. So I think I have another one of these. I wouldn't buy them though on my own. I think that it's lovely. You leave it on your face for like 30 to 40 minutes and wash it off and then that's it. And I don't think I really completely saw any massive effects. It wasn't awful, but I was like, okay, I have it. So I might as well use it. Okay, next is this Tula Skincare Revive and Rewind Revitalizing Eye Cream. This was okay. I felt like it was, first of all, it's a little deceiving because you think you're getting this like whole thing, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's like rounded out here. So it's actually like barely full with product, which is really frustrating. And I don't think that the product was very um, like ultra, mo uh, ultra moisturizing or anything like that. It was actually like a pretty light eye, cre eye cream, which is if you need a light eye cream, go for this. This isn't too bad for that, but for how much it costs and for how little product you got, not my fave. The niacinamide inky list, niacinamide, just, it's just niacinamide. <laughs> I guess it's like a serum. I mean, inky list, I'm kind of, I'm not sure about them. I know that it's like simple and cheap, but in terms of like a cheaper product, but I don't know what the quality is like per se. Um, I feel like I didn't have any issues and this is like my second bottle. I may have repurchased it, I'm not really sure but I'm not sure what's waiting for me. But um, yeah, this is just okay. I had a little sample of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This was okay for me for nighttime. It's definitely dewy, um, so it's a bit thicker. I have very oily skin, so yeah, this is a nighttime one. I don't mind getting these sample sizes. I don't think I would rebuy this, repurchase this. And I have purchased this before. They're very expensive. Um, I always get them in like the 20% off Sephora sales, but yeah, it's just okay. But I'll take a sample anytime. And then I have the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream, tried and true. Tried and true every day um, for the daytime moisturizer because it just sinks into the skin real quick, real fast, which is lovely for makeup and also good for not getting too, too oily throughout the day. Y'all, I have three polishes that I finished up. So the first one is the Clear Polish by OPI. It's great. I think I've repurchased it. If I haven't repurchased this one specifically, I've repurchased this before. So yeah, I can't remember. I know I went to Ulta and I grabbed something else. And I grabbed like an OPI top coat, but I don't know if it's that original one or if they just changed the bottle or what. But I do always go back for the OPI top coat. I like them a lot. This is the OPI nail liqueur in Princess's Rule? Princess's Rule. This was one of my Project Polish ones. It was an older polish. I didn't actually get to finish the whole thing. It's very, very thick now, like to the point of no return. So I, I called it on that one, but um, it was a beautiful color. I actually really like it. Princesses do rule. So yeah, I like that a lot. And then I have this, this one. This is, was like a favorite, the OPI, and it's called Green on the Runway. And it's kind of like this beetle color. I think you, I think you can kind of see it, but it has like this like red-ish, like rusty effect to it. That's like green. It's beautiful. Really liked it. Finished it in a project polish. Woohoo! Got that done. Okay, my makeup products here at the end. I have three of them. Not too, too bad. The first one is this um, Tinted Face Oil by Kosas. It's, um, it was okay. Again, I have oily skin, but I tried it out. This was a gift from a makeup artist. It is, like I said, it's okay. It's just okay. I would repurchase it. This one actually went bad on me. It smells bad. There's some products still in here, but it did go bad. So, but also she had it beforehand, the makeup artist. So it was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to use this in time for it to expire. So would you like it? And I, I took it and then it went bad on me. It went bad on me though. Like I think it, that was like a year ago that she gave it to me. So it, it did take a whole year and then plus whatever time she had had it in her possession for. So yeah, this was, like I said, okay. It actually provided decent coverage for it being just like a liquidy oil. I don't think I'd repurchase it. And then I have the Fenty Beauty uh, powder in lavender. I've repurchased this. I don't know if I'd repurchase it again. I keep like getting sucked back into it. 
because I feel like I'm like, yeah, it actually is pretty good. I like Fenty Beauty, but then I get it and I'm like, do I like it? Is it that great? I mean, I'm getting the lavender color, so it's like super, super light and I feel like that's part of it, but I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent on it. Like I like it, but I'm not sure if I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very, it's very confusing. And then I have this MAC um, eyebrow color in lingering little eyebrow, eyebrow, ugh, eyebrow pencil. I'm going to back to MAC it. Yay. I know the back to MAC pro program, I believe for right now it's over where you get free stuff, but I still like the fact that they recycle. So that's exciting. I would repurchase this. However, I just go through these teeny tiny pencils so quickly and I'm trying to just go through and just doing brow powder right now because I think that it works perfectly fine. So I think I'm going to stick to just that, but if this, another one came my way, I would definitely take it with open arms and maybe one day when my brow powders, which will probably be in like six years, <laughs> maybe I'll go ahead and repurchase one of these, but yeah. In the meantime, back to Mac. That's everything. Speed round. Woo, we did it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below uh, if you agreed or disagreed or if you have different experiences with these products or are interested in some of them or whatever. Let me know what you got and let me know about your empties. Was there anything that surprised you recently that you finished that you were like, this was amazing or this was not amazing because XYZ. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.